All right, what's up, guys? Brady Hoke, new defensive coordinator at Oregon, and I'm going to tell you I'm pretty excited about it. Now, if you watched one of my previous videos, I brought up Hoke and the possib possibility of him being our D coordinator. I wasn't too ecstatic at that point in time. Um, there were other names being floated around that I was a little more interested in, uh, one being Mike Nolan. Now, I didn't mention him in the video, but his name popped up later on in the search. And it uh, apparently became very close to being Mike Nolan instead of uh, Brady Hoke. Uh, the rumors were that he wanted to bring in one of his own guys from his staff, from the Chargers, and we were not willing to let one of our guys go to make room for that coach. And that's where the talks ended. Um, it was a very quick um, progression through the talks, a few days, and uh, it just dwindled very fast. And then all of a sudden you hear Hoke's hired. So Hoke was waiting in the wings. We knew we could get Hoke all along. We wanted Nolan. Uh, first we wanted Clancy Pendergast. That didn't work out. He went to USC. And then Nolan uh, popped up as the uh, biggest uh, want after that. So obviously there was a little bit of a letdown right at the beginning that we didn't get Nolan. He's a great defensive coordinator, Super Bowl winner, really great defensive coach. Uh, I would have loved to have him on our staff. He's an Oregon guy. And it just didn't work out. And that's fine. You look at the Hoke hire now a few days of maybe almost a week after it's actually happened, and this is a really good hire. Uh, he turned around Michigan's defense. He completely 180'd them, and I'm really excited to see what he can do with our defense. One reason Oregon fans already love this guy is he's changing it up. He's going from our 3-4 to a 4-3. I cannot wait to see that. Um, it would seem like every time we would bring four, Good things would happen on the back end, albeit our secondary was young, but talented nonetheless, and good things would happen. And Don just could not figure that out consistently. That say, huh, I brought four guys. I either got a sack, or I got the quarterback to throw the ball away, or I got a tip ball. Something good happened nonetheless. Um, and he couldn't consistently put it together that, huh, maybe I should start bringing four more often. Um, albeit for me to be an armchair coach, um, but... Two and two, we're not making four there. Uh, so I'm really excited for Mr. Hoke's defense to come in. Now, you can talk about 4-3 over or 4-3 under, and that's where you kind of lose me. I am not an X's and O's guy. I am not um, a schematic kind of guy. I know some some defenses. I know zone. I know man. I, I know the basics. I, I just don't know exactly who's going to fit where in our defense, but I'm really excited about the opportunity. Really excited about the opportunity stop with the bend don't break bullshit oh my god i'm tired of it oregon fans have been begging for a defensive change ever since we kicked aliote out the door and and then don pelham and now hulk he has breathed breathed a new sense of life into this oregon defensive like hope that our defense is not going to be shitty next year we actually have hope that our defense is not going to suck and be in the bottom 100s nationally. And let me tell you, that is a fantastic feeling. When you have hope that your defense is not going to be utter sewage, things get exciting. Because with our offense, guess what? It doesn't have to be fantastic. Our defense does not need to be elite. Like I said before, a top 40, a top 35 defense will win us a lot. And I mean a lot of good ball games because our offense is one of the best in the country. I still feel like it was last year. It's going to be this year. Um, we are loaded offensively. Royce Freeman, Dakota Prukop, uh, best kept secret in the uh, power five. And also the wide receiver core is just ungodly. So Mr. Hoke's defense do not have to be all world. What I love for us to see, love to see us get back to the years of 2011, 2010, when our defenses actually hit people, hell yeah, um, that would be fantastic. John Boy, Eddie Pleasant, Casey Matthews, just all those guys that just really laid the foundation for where we are now, we need to get back to that. And that's what I'm really excited for. I cannot wait to see what kind of defense Mr. Hoke rolls out. It, anything is going to be better than Don Pelham's. And the best thing about Hoke, didn't even mention this yet, is his recruiting. This dude can recruit his fat ass off. He can get kids to buy in to what he's selling and get them on campus. And I feel like with our position coaches, Neil, Aiken, 
hell, even Don Pelham, who's a pretty good linebackers coach in his own right, just a bad defensive coordinator, all talented guys, they're going to be able to work with that talent and really cause some problems for some people. Really cause some problems for some teams. I cannot wait for spring ball to get here so we can see what our new defense is going to look like. This is going to be fabulous. As always, guys, go Ducks.